Executive member of the Alliance for Change, Moses Nagamutu, believes that the ruling party, the People's Progressive Party, Civic, is losing its traditional base on the quarantine, and this is causing some amount of discomfort in the management of the party. He said the blatant disrespect for the livelihoods of sugar workers from Region 6 goes to show that the party has lost touch with the working class. Nagamoto said at a recent AFC leadership meeting at WIM, the party was welcomed with great enthusiasm. He said gone are the days when the PPP political base was dictated to, and now the residents of the quarantine are dealing with issues rather than personalities. We have seen people are prepared to deal with the issues, the issues of electricity. They're, they're, um, they're, they suffer because of that. Their children suffer because of that. They came out and deal with issues of flooding, issues of drought. So they are prepared to deal with the issues and not just be swamped by the political um, uh, the bubble you see on state television, the all-out propaganda blitz to um, crush the Alliance for Change. In incidentally, it's not the Alliance for Change they're trying to trust. To, uh, they're trying to smother this rising dissent and this rising uh, feeling among the uh, mainly Indo-Guyanese on the quarantine. Nagamoto said prior to the 2011 elections, there had been mounting dissent from the Asian county against the ruling party, and this was evident in the outcome of the elections. He said now with a joint parliamentary scrutiny on the executive, several corrupt practices have been exposed. And so we realize that Burbis has now broken that unholy grail of ethnic loyalty and ethnic voting. And we are looking forward to other areas as in Esquibo and um, uh, the Amerindian areas uh, that they should not uh, any longer be held um, uh, in chain, in bondage. We want change, not chain. President Donald Ramatar used the occasion of the remembrance of the 16th death anniversary of the party's founder, Dr. Cherry Jagan, to launch an attack on Nagamutu, calling him an intellectual liar. Leroy Adolphus, Capital News.